You shouldn't be using that, it's gonna give you cancer. Shut up, no it's not. Apparently it will. What's up gentlemen? So let me start this video off by just acknowledging I am not some crazy like conspiracy theorist, but I am into health. And it really started for me when I read a study about diet soda and the fact that drinking one diet soda a day increases your risk of prostate cancer by literally 50%. This was alarming to me. The more I started to research, the more I started to understand that a lot of the products that we're using on a daily basis, including our grooming products and choices, are actually some of the biggest offenders in terms of reduction in testosterone levels, not to mention totally toxic for your body. Today, guys, I'm gonna go over some of the biggest offenders that you need to cut out. First EDC chemical we're gonna talk about is bisphenol A or BPA, all right? It's a chemical that is found in plastics. Plastic water bottles are horrible for you and your testosterone levels. And the reason is because they use the BPA to make the plastic and then the water sits inside the plastic. The chemical leaches into the water that you're actually consuming. They are making BPA free plastics, but typically you're going to notice because it's gonna say it, right? Because they wanna let you know yo, it's a healthier alternative. What I have done, guys, is actually switched to a metal drinking container, all right? Because I drink a lot of water, the bottle is huge. Glass is also another safe alternative. Second, we gotta talk about parapins, all right? You hear a lot about paraffin-free, right? Well, what is a paraffin in the first place? It is another EDC chemical that absolutely destroys your body's testosterone level. Parapins also have been shown to increase certain cancer risks, not to mention reduce fertility, all right? Now, where are parabens? Oftentimes they are found in a lot of the daily products that we use in terms of shampoo, body lotions, and hair products. A lot of women's cosmetics, not to mention deodorants, not to mention toothpaste, like a lot of the grooming products that we as men are using have or contain parabens unless it's a higher quality product. Paraffin free. The grooming product or product that you're using will typically say it on the label because it's gonna let you know that it is indeed a healthier product. The product should say it on there if it doesn't have paraffins in there, all right? If you check out a product like Dove or Axe or some of these cheaper hair products or grooming products, it doesn't say paraffin free. The reason is because it has paraffins. Number three, we gotta talk about antiperspirant deodorants, all right? So antiperspirants are basically designed to stop you from sweating, all right? The way that they do this is they use aluminum. The aluminum goes in, chemical reaction with your sweat and clogs your sweat ducts. Sounds super healthy, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's horrible for you, all right, for a few reasons. Number one, when we sweat, this is our body's ability and time to release a lot of the toxins that are inside. But when you actually block or stop your body's ability to perspire, the toxins build up in your lymph glands. Something else that I found when I was doing my research developing Super Fresh from Pete and Pedro is that aluminum also has been linked to Alzheimer's disease. And even if you're not using an antiperspirant and you're just using a deodorant, the problem is that a lot of the cheaper deodorants that you're going to find in most drugstores are really horrible. Tons of toxic chemicals. So I realized I had to do something about it, which is why I went to the drawing board. It took two years and 57 different formulations to find a perfect formula. Gentlemen, if you are looking for a naturally derived deodorant that not only is sulfite free, paraffin free, aluminum free, it's basically free from all the toxic shit. Not only is this deodorant healthier than what you're using, it actually works better. It goes on clear, but the cool thing, it doesn't leave a greasy residue, which means it's not going to mess up your clothes. It's going to work and last all day long. The scent is insane. We call it super fresh because it's spearmint eucalyptus. This is incredible. Guys, hit the link down below. Check out the Pete and Pedro Super Fresh. I am so incredibly proud and pumped about this product. I built it for me because I wanted a better deodorant and what I created, I feel, is a revolution. This product is literally going to change the game and lives of men. Guys, hit the link down below. Check it out. It is an amazing product. Next up, we got to talk about beer. All right, so the problem with beer, not only only is it going to make you potentially make some really bad decisions with some less than spicy senoritas. Oh, oh my will the beast! If you know, you know. All right, what you need to know about though for this video is hops. What they make beer out of hops, it's a plant. It's a phytoestrogen. Now, unfortunately, phytoestrogen is like a plant-based estrogen. And so, unfortunately, beer is increasing your estrogen level, also increasing the risk of you developing man boobs. Since we're talking about testosterone, we got to talk about the boys, right? Big Al and the twins. Well, talc is 
horrible. There's been a bunch of research that has come out that links talc with cancer because of the asbestos that is actually found in the talc powder, all right? 99% of powders that we use in terms of ball powder are derived from talc, which is why it's critical not to rub talc powder on the boys, which is why, once again, I solved my own problem. I created the Pete and Pedro powder to basically be an alternative that not only is going to keep men fresh, friction-free, and dry, it's a healthier alternative. There is zero talc in this powder. Also, check it out. I told you, paraffin and aluminum free. Guys, you gotta really start paying attention to the labels of the products that you're actually using, all right? This product is the best powder on the market. The other thing with talc is that when it actually combines with water, you're gonna get like a soupy, milky mess in your pants. And so if you want your balls to be as fresh as possible, you gotta switch to a better product, all right? Let me actually show you an example of the difference. These glasses of water represent your sweaty balls. On one side, you've got talc-based powders, the other Pete and Pedro. When you add talc-based powder to your sweaty balls, mix it up, what you're left with is a pasty, chalky mess in your pants. When you add your Pete and Pedro powder to your sweaty balls, mix it up, what you're left with is powder. Nothing but powder. The choice is yours, gentlemen. A white, talky, milky mess in your pants or Pete and Pedro powder. Every man needs these two products in his grooming arsenal. I will link to them down below. Grab a deodorant, grab a ball powder, start smelling better, and your ball's fresh and friction-free. All right, so you know how at the beginning of the video I talked a little bit about artificial sweeteners increasing your risk of prostate cancer? Something else that does that I recently found out about is dairy. So this study absolutely blew my mind, all right? Now check this out. 28,000 men were analyzed, and what they found is that men that ate 430 grams of dairy a day, which is equivalent to like one and a third cup of milk, had a 25% increased risk of developing prostate cancer. As opposed to the men that ate like 20 grams of dairy per day. Now you're like, why? That's what I was thinking. Well, what they're concluding is that it has to do with the sex hormone in the dairy. 75% of lactating cows are pregnant. Their assumption is that this hormone in the dairy is actually having an adverse effect on our health and our prostate health, increasing the risk of you developing prostate cancer. Something else that has been shown to actually increase your risk of cancer is delicious, unfortunately, which is processed meats, hot dogs, ham, salami, beef jerky. In 2009, there was a study that basically showed an increased risk of colorectal cancer. I can't even pronounce it, but I definitely don't want to get it, all right? It's the nitrates, it's the things in processed and smoked and cured meats that actually increases your risk of actually developing cancer. True story. When the actor Chaswick Bozeman from the Black Panther died, it freaked me out. I'm like, he was so young, he was vibrant, he was healthy, right? Well, apparently he had colon cancer and it was one of those things where it wasn't discovered until it was really progressed and he ended up dying. And colon cancer is one of those things that if you go in and check it out and catch it early, you can fix it. If you guys missed the video that I did talking about my experience when they found five precancerous polyps on my colonoscopy, I'm gonna link to that video down below. It is an important important video that I hope you watch because it could possibly save your life like I possibly saved mine.